Well, today we're joined by Kim Bruno, the head tennis coach of the uh, Michigan State University women's tennis team, and uh, one of our uh, great student athletes, uh, Sammy Mamihe, uh, who is uh, a five-year member of the team and, and currently a graduate student. So, Sammy, let me start by asking, uh, five years on the team and, uh, and, and currently in graduate school, what, what are you studying? So I'm currently pursuing my master's degree in speech language pathology. So I'm part of the communicative sciences and disorders program here at state. What caused you to be interested in tennis? Growing up, I played a lot of sports from soccer, karate, and then I started playing tennis when I was around eight years old. Uh, my dad introduced me to the sport. We just went to a park and we just started playing and I grew an immediate attraction to it. I liked the individual aspect of the sport that I was able to control what I was doing and not having to rely on anybody else. Uh, I think of myself as like more of an individual person. So I thought the sport really suited me. And then I just stuck through it throughout, throughout all these years. And here I am. So, yeah, no, that's uh, it, it is interesting that way in that uh, it's an individual sport and yet there's a, you know, and yet there's a team. And so it's uh, mm -hmm. in some ways the, uh, the, the, the best of both worlds. So yes, uh, coach, coach Bruno, how did you get your start in, in the game of tennis? Oh, I guess on the same lines as Sammy, I loved all sports. I actually, I should tell coach Jackie Joseph, but I was like, a, like all-star softball player. I preferred softball actually. Um, because for the opposite reasons of Sammy, um, tennis is a quite lonely sport. You know, you can't, you, you only can blame yourself. You can't, oh, so, you know, your, your team kind of went down, but especially through juniors, obviously collegiate tennis is, is different. So playing all, all, you know, softball, tennis, all these other sports, and my mom and kind of pushed me towards the tennis route um, just because they love it. Like they still watch everything that we're doing they watch every pro pro event and we, we that's how I started tennis in the first place we all would go to a local park together and just play like compete with the metal fences in Chicago <laughs> so so much fun so many childhood memories of that my sister and I getting in fights I think I drew her out of the sport entirely because <laughs> I was so obnoxious but um so yeah just getting pushed and my parents were finally like you know you kind of kind of decide and I was excelling at tennis and then I guess I kind of embrace the the lonely struggle of the sport and it kind of makes you, it just makes you tough in a lot of different realms, I think, you know, because you can rely on yourself in all sorts of situations. Um, it, it just, it requires you to be self-sufficient and um, understand yourself a little bit more than I guess per se the other sports that I was into, so. That was my, my start. But once college tennis started, oh, I loved it. Like that was more of like my jam because it was team oriented. And I think that's why I'm still a part of it. I still, I still just think college tennis is so much fun. So much fun. Kim, you came to us uh, five years ago and, uh, and you and you and Sammy actually started in the program at the same time. So you sort of uh, grew up in MSU tennis together. Tell us a little bit about your 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 philosophy of uh, how you, uh, you know, how you structure the team and uh, what's your you know, sort of what, what's your philosophy of uh, of college tennis? Well, first regarding kind of your first thing, the whole five years with Sammy. I mean, I think you know how people say that you know you're kind of meant to be in an area. I, I truly feel like, and Sammy might think I'm crazy saying this, but I truly felt like I was here and Sammy was not my recruit. She's the only person left on this team that was not my recruit, but I, I don't know, just right off the bat, I feel like any, any program would die to have a kid like her. Like she just works hard. She does what she's asked. She really, really cares about uh, the green and white, you know, all those things and the student athlete that you were just like, this is, this is great. And I think, you know, a lot of those, I, I truly are, are part of like my values too, you know? Um, so I think that's kind of why we, even to this day, I mean, she can talk more about it, but even her match yesterday, I just kind of know how to get to her at, at certain moments and kind of help her, help her through and 
I mean, from the day she stepped on campus till now, she's a totally different player. Um, she struggled to even getting the lineup her freshman year in and out of the lineup. Now she's, you know, winning at one through three singles consistently, um, has become an outstanding doubles player, has also grown. I mean, in the classroom, she's leading her class and her, you know, masters and things like that. So that to me is, you know, kind of starts with my philosophy on things. Like, I think we have a really balanced program, um, meaning like on court is one piece of it, but off court, I truly want them to look back and be like, that was awesome. You know, my four years there were great. Like we can talk about some memories. Um, I think we have really good relationships, our coaching staff to, with the players. Um, that doesn't happen in a lot of schools. Like I know Sammy, I know she might not like it, but I know uh, yesterday she was, you know, struggling to put, she put too much pressure on herself to play a match. Like I, I knew those things were kind of happening just because we know, and she knows me too, that all the players do all the bad parts about me and the good, you know, um, I think that's unique to, to kind of hear. And it, you know, tennis is just different. You have to individually know them, um, plus create a team environment. And that's, that's difficult to do a lot of times. Um, but I think philosophy being a ton of balance, and you can even see that with our girls, how they've been excelling in the classroom. Um, we're knocking on golf and swim and dive door, right? Um, for that top GPA, we're right there. <laughs> just the things that they accomplish too, um, outside of the classroom and all those things to me are important in life. Like I just have a lust for it and I hope that they see that and we can, we, we kind of bring that in our practice with Sammy might have a totally different experience, but I think we've not only, I mean, she's seen me groan and go through some stuff and same with her, you know, I think that's what makes it. Uh, yeah. we every step of the way we've been together, her and I, we call it, we've come in freshmen together where I don't know what I'm going to do when you're gone actually. <laughs> <laughs> so Sammy, you're, you're uh what what is your experience been like at uh, at, at MSU and and maybe why of of the the, the many places that, uh, that that you could have considered uh, why Michigan State it's been so memorable these past five years here at state I chose MSU because so I visited my senior the summer before my senior year of high school I had no expectations whatsoever I knew I wanted to go to a Big Ten school ultimately. Um, I already had offers from other schools. So this was kind of like a last minute trip to uh, state. And as soon as I stepped on campus, I had this overwhelming feeling that I belonged here. And I met with Coach Tyler and he had this presence to himself that he was very calm and comforting. And I was immediately comfortable with him. So like he was a big part of why I came to MSU. Um, I knew I would be able to grow into someone completely different than how I started and in a positive way. Um, and I knew MSU had exceptional athletic programs as well as outstanding academic programs. So I knew I would excel in both tennis and school and also just grow as an individual person. So, so Sammy, one of the, the things that's unique about tennis is that you can play you know, singles or you can play doubles. So you're, you're sort of, you're playing the same sport, but sometimes you can, you know, obviously do it alone. And, and other times you've got a partner you're to, to me. So as a person that plays tennis about six times a year and does it very, very badly, um, it, it, it seems easier to, uh, to, to do it alone because when, when, when you're playing with someone else on the same side of the court, at least for me, and again, I'm you know the, the most novice of novices at all of this. Um, I feel like I'm always running into the other person. How much of a different game is it? And what are the uh, you know what what are the differences uh, b- between singles and doubles? And and is there one that you prefer um, over the other? Before college tennis, I was more of a singles player. I didn't really play that much doubles. I wasn't that good of a doubles player. Uh, But coming into college tennis, coming into MSU, I played both singles and doubles, and I still play both singles and doubles. And I think 
there is a difference between singles and doubles. I think with doubles, you have to understand your partner uh, mentally and emotionally, as well as physically, I guess. Um, you have to have that chemistry with them. Uh, and like, you just have to have like a bond on the court that you understand each other and you can play well with each other's uh, playing styles. And that's how I've grown to become successful in doubles. And that's, I've, I'm actually enjoying doubles now in college tennis more than ever. Yeah, it's all, it's, it is different than singles. It is when you first play doubles, you're kind of, it's kind of weird that there's another person on the court and then you have to work together as a team, but being part of a team at MSU has helped me uh, grow to become more, I guess the word would be together in a sense with your partner as well as a team as a whole. So yeah, but then I, I do prefer singles. I do enjoy singles more. I like being in control of my own, like my own points and stuff, so. So Kim, you know, one of the things that's interesting about, about you is that you start each, uh, each practice with a quote. So oh, yeah. how, did that, uh, how did that come to be? And, uh, and do, you have a, uh, do you have a particular favorite or two? Oh, yeah. That came a while back, uh, even before MSU. I just, uh, sometimes I'll just, a lot of times I'll just look stuff up on the internet, kind of what we're going through, whether like they have to stick with the process or, you know, the mental toughness part and things like that. And just kind of like to gather them up in the beginning of practices and then, you know, have them actually a lot of times they, they lay into me about this quote is dumb coach. This is that they're always like discuss they're sitting there discussing it and they're like okay we like that one you know like I can never I have like a, a really a hard group to please every single person with it and I'm like okay girl um but probably ones that for me personally that I like is probably Billie Jean King she said champions keep playing till they get it right um to me that just means just keep working keep working keep working you know no matter where where have you kind of been? And I, I think, you know, we just keep doing that. And I, I like to live by that. And then let's see, I just read, I just read Rhonda Rousey's book. What did she say? She said in there, she had a ton of really good quotes in there, but one of them was, I train to be the best in the world on my worst day. Um, and I think, you know, a lot of times, more than a lot of times we're having we're not having our best day, but how, what can you be like on your worst day? Cause that's when um, it really matters, you know? So th th that one kind of just recently resonated with me just because I just finished, finished her book. So those things, but Sammy can probably, what, what's your favorite Sammy that we've said? So coach Tyler keeps mentioning. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, what, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And I think it's in the football uh, facility, but he mentions it pretty much every, day. every single day of practice. <laughs> so that, that, that's a good one. Mine, one of mm -hmm. my favorites yep. uh, that, yeah. uh, has, has been over in the football building for a number of years is, uh, is something similar. It's uh, um, champions are built on a thousand invisible mornings. That's a good one. The sort of speaking to the 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 grind of the, the sort of uh, anonymous sort of grind of daily uh, daily work and uh, you yep. know and, and people uh, you know you, you'll see and particularly in tennis sometimes you'll see some young person uh, uh, make it to the uh, the finals of a Grand Slam event or what have you and it's as though that person sort of came out of nowhere. And, you know, and inevitably that person didn't come out of nowhere. They came out of thousands and thousands of hours of practice. Um, True. And that's the, uh, you know, the, uh, the piece that I think so many people miss is the, the incredible uh, commitment that, uh, that, 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 that Sammy folks like you and, and our student athletes have to, to perfecting their craft while, while going to school and, and being so busy with so many other things. So Sammy, let me ask you to switch gears and let me ask you a different question. Tennis is an interesting sport where you play, you can play both indoors and outdoors. Do, do you have a preference and why? 
my personal game style is best suited for indoors, but I tend to adapt to whatever environment I come across. So if I do have to play outdoors, I can change my game style up a bit to make sure I'm the most successful outdoors. And if I do play indoors, I would just change it to how I usually play. And it, it's been successful, so I can't really complain. Kim, you know, you, you've been, been at MSU for five years, so you uh, just sort of seem like, you know, old hat, like you've, you've, you've been here forever. When you're out recruiting and talking to, to young women about potentially uh, coming to Michigan State for their college career, how do you talk about, uh, about your program? What, what makes your program special? You know, you have to tell really like your story, just the truth of what you kind of do. And I think the balance part piece that makes us unique um, is, is really important. Like if you're not going to eat, breathe and sleep tennis, and we're not going to jam things down your throat here, like we're just, it's just not how it's going to happen. You know, where some programs that that's how it is you know, you're going to be respected by your coaches and we expect the same in return. Um, But I also think not just, you know, that part of the story, I think also, you know, where we are as a program, um, which is frankly, you know, since Sammy's been here, she's seen us grow, 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 grow every year, better and better. You know, this year we're we're struggling a little bit, but (laughs) that's not, that we haven't been in every single match we've played. So I think we're on the cusp of, you know, being an NCAA qualifier consistently. I think we're right on the cusp of that. Okay. You know, we need that kid who's going to come here and wants to, to help make that happen. Um, so, you know, we kind of just tell really the, the story of what we are and where we're at and um, you know, where we want to be headed and, and that. So that's, it might not be the best selling routine, but it's, uh, you know, on paper, we've had some of the best recruiting classes since I've been here. Uh, we just got to keep plugging away. No, and that's a, a really um, authentic message, which I think probably from my perspective is the most important thing is. Uh, is oh, I appreciate is, that. That's what you're going to get with us. Yeah. When, when, <laughs> when students come to Michigan state, they, they know what they're signing up for and, uh, um, they know what they're going to get, and uh, and and if it's the right fit, that's great. And if if not, that's okay too. But uh, right. Uh, but they um they they know what uh, what they're going to get when they come here. Kim, I uh, thank you so much. We've been joined today by a women's head tennis coach at Michigan State University, Kim Bruno, and uh, one of Kim's student athletes on the tennis team, Sammy Mamihe. And uh, we thank you both so much for joining us today. Thanks, you guys. We really thank appreciate you. it.